Hi, my name is Mike Weaver, professional leadership coach. Thank you so much for watching. And in this video, I'm going to give you three things you can do to help you lead smarter and not harder. Let's just get right to it. The first thing to do to help you lead smarter, not harder, is to collaborate with others. Collaborate. A friend of mine says this, your ability to work well with others will determine your success. Your ability to work well with others will determine your success. That is so true. It's the same standard we were held to when we were in kindergarten as a kids. The question was, does he or she play well with others? Well, this is the same thing in the workplace. Your ability to collaborate with others, to work well with them, determines your success. Why? Because you harness the thinking of the group. You don't have all the great ideas. You don't have all the great insights. You might have great education. You might have lots of degrees, but you don't have all the answers. The people around you have insights and ideas and, I, and other plans that can help create a great plan to help shape and mold that idea that you're working on. And you can move forward together. As you collaborate with others, you harness the power of the thinking of the group. The second thing to do is to get discipline. Discipline. It's one thing to create a plan. It's another thing to be disciplined with that plan. To lead yourself. In order to be a great leader, you need to be able to lead yourself when no one else is watching. And that's called discipline. It might be disciplined in things in your own life, but it's also disciplined on the plans that are made in the organization that you serve by following through on commitments, following through on promises, and just being disciplined and working that plan and seeing it to the, to the end. The third thing to do to lead smarter, not harder, is to get a coach. And you might be saying, that sounds a little self-serving, and I don't mean it to be. I'm not asking you to work with me as a coach. I'm just saying, in general, it is smart for you to get a coach. Neurologists tell us that what happens in the brain when, when a leader is coached, leaders get smarter because new neural pathways are created in their brain, creating sustainable and lasting change. The neocortex is engaged in a more fuller way, in a fuller way, when leaders are engaged. This area of your logical thinking, your clear thinking. And you become more emotional, intelligent. You have clarity and you have great ideas that emerge when you are coached. Coaches are not there to tell you what to do. Coaches come alongside you to ask you the right questions to engage your brain in ways you couldn't do on your own. And that way you become smarter when you're coached. You lead smarter when you are coached. Again, you don't have to work with me. I'm just saying just get a coach in general. Now, if you do want to work with me, I'm going to send you an email, give you an opportunity to do so, but I hope you take a look at that. I really do. But the bottom line is get a coach. Collaborate with others. Work with them well. Get discipline. Self-discipline helps you lead smarter and not harder. And lastly, get a coach. I hope this helps you in your leadership, and I hope this blesses you in the work that you do, the important work you do, to help people learn more, to dream more, do more, and become more, because you are a leader. It's so important, especially today. And as I said before, I'm going to send you an email giving you an opportunity to work with me as your coach. I would love the privilege of walking alongside you to serve you in such a way to help raise the quality of your leadership, to strengthen your influence, to strengthen your impact in the place that you serve, to help you leave a positive legacy, to do those things that you do in a greater way. I would love to be able to serve you as a coach. Take a look at the email I'm going to send you in a couple days. I hope you do so. And until we talk next time, may you be blessed and may you be your best today.